All right, guys, so it's cold and rainy out, but before anyone says anything, guess we have permission to walk this, even though this, uh, I think it's wheat that's coming up. I'm actually walking right between the rows here. I have one foot in one row and one foot in the other. But this is an old uh, Native American encampment. And uh, I can't say location, but I just know, I know a lot of people have come here to look because it is a pretty known encampment in the area. So we can only look for stuff today because today's Sunday and people rent it out um, for archery. And this is not one of the Sundays that you can hunt on. So I guess halfway through those trees is where the encampment was, but it's a little cold out. So we're gonna keep walking. If I see anything cool, I'll turn the camera on. This is a really good permission though. Nothing so far. Uh, done a lot of walking, just nothing yet. We're right next to the creek, but no luck yet. I've seen some charcoal, which could have been from a farmer burning wood here, but nothing else other than that yet. All right, guys, we're in the one side of another complete field. That's the divider between where we were, the other field's there. But we're getting ready to go, and I just spotted something. I think this is a broken point. You guys can probably see it right now, because it's different color. Uh, okay, so it is broke, but that is a point. So technically, I did find one a long time ago when I was younger, but I lost it. So we're going to call this my first point, even though it's not a point. I mean, it has four points, but it's not in the right spot. But that is awesome. This is definitely my first field find. So that is cool. Looks like we got some old... What is it? A leg? Yeah. Oh, deer leg. There's more bones here. But that is, we're going to call it my first one. Definitely is, though. The ends broke off wherever they tie it down, and then the tip is broke off, too. But that's good. I'm happy. So there is something for the camera. All right, guys. So walked up a little bit more, and... This, I think this is a flake, honestly. Oh yeah. So that's a flake. Whenever they would have been making one, they would have chipped a piece off of it. And that's exactly what that is. That's done by a human. So more sign in the area. All right, guys. Walking between lines here. We're almost back to the spot I found that broken point, which is, we're gonna just call it my first point. <coughs> even though it's not pointy, but um, it is cold. I cannot stress how cold it is out today. But we're just walking to see if we can find anything else. I'll be happy with what I found, but it'd be nice to find some more. So I'm gonna keep walking, see if I can get anything. All right guys, so I am way up in this field and I'm walking along these rows just what they look like and this is the next thing I've come across I'm gonna film everything I find <clears throat> just because it's so vast here and there's not a lot of a lot of stuff I think this is a good flake I could be wrong though so let's grab it this was definitely um, done by human so yep um, so normally if you find something so square like that that's nothing you know that's just natural uh, but this was chipped off of a big rock so they were chipping to the center to get to the really good material this is what I think at least and this was a piece that they first took off off the outside so nothing crazy but it's something and it lets me know that they were up here so let me keep going
See if you see anything else. Golf ball. We've already found a handful of golf balls. All right, guys. So he is way up there. I come back to where, um, over towards the woods. There's where I found the broken point and the flake. But just found a really good flake. And to a lot of people that go out for arrowheads, I understand a flake isn't much at all, but to me it is. So here's a flake. This is a really nice one. I'll keep this one. Um. You can see that was taken right off of a core as they were making a point or a blade, whatever they're making. So this is one that got chipped off. And you never know. Um, you obviously cannot tell if someone used this, but they could have used this for cutting little things. You just, you don't know. So, but that is guaranteedly a flake. So that's cool. Found something else. My feet are killing me. So I'm gonna keep on going and see if we can find something else, but we got another flake. All right, guys, so Roger got his first, well, of your life, you said, right? Well, yeah, I'm 63, first time ever hunting for arrowheads, and it's getting pretty dark, and I'm pretty lucky. Last, last bottom of the night save here. So we got, it's a nice flake, really nice flake, but at the same time, you guys aren't gonna be able to see it on this camera, but it has a little, a couple of serrations on the one corner. So they would have, uh, once again, chipped off a little bit to make it a little bit sharper for them to cut sinew and stuff like that and rope. So, pretty cool. Thanks, Nick. Wouldn't have it if it weren't for you. <laughs> well, I'm glad we found some stuff. So, we're gonna do a couple more walkthroughs of this area and then we'll probably be heading out. It's getting, sun's going down. If you guys heard but there was a whole party of coyotes signaling to each other they must have found something chasing it we were just up there too didn't see anything though there's a deer down at the end i'll try to zoom in on it for you guys but it might not work hopefully you guys were able to hear that though maybe they want their hat back well speaking of animals the coyotes are loud but there's some big deer tracks through here you have the size of that I mean, I know it was running, but it's like covered out here. There's tracks absolutely everywhere. All right, guys. So uh, if any of you guys were really watching, I'm sure some of you guys immediately seen it and went into like chaos mode because uh, this was sitting on the mound when I looked at the deer tracks. But this was found here a long time ago. And uh, this was like around the area, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then also, that's, I think that's a ballast stone. If it was a fishnet stone, it would have had a nice groove in it. Um, whereas sometimes with a ballast stone, which is the balance weight for an atlatl dart thrower, sometimes there wouldn't be a groove. So that's what points me towards this would have been a ballast stone for a dart thrower. Um, yeah, so that's really cool. Like, it takes a lot of smoothing out and this adds I think it's adds I'm still new to this stuff but this thing is really nice comes right down and that's a decently sized one too that's pretty cool and here were the finds for today so technically this is my second point but the one I had was a long time ago and I lost it but I'm still happy was able to get one or a third of one so that's pretty cool and this is all local material none of this was traded around um, a nice flake which that's just a normal flake and another flake but this one is actually a micro tool that they you know they cut stuff with you guys can't see on the camera but there's serrations that they added in after and this one I think it's a flake as they were chipping away to the core of the rock not sure if I'll keep it, but I think it is technically a chip, so yeah.
pretty cool. And there's the rookie flake. <laughs> there it is. It's actually pretty big. Like, I mean, that's bigger than this third of a point. But well, Nick, you found four to my one. I had to do something better than you. Well, let's say three. <laughs> but yeah, never mind my thumbnail, guys. There are micro serrations on the corner wherever they would cut stuff. Material around here was hard to get, so whenever they get it and they'd flake stuff off as they're making a point, they'd use it. They'd use everything they could. So, pretty cool.